Well hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the first generation Amazfit Paces battery drain issue. I'm going to be using basic tools such as a hair dryer, a razor blade and a knife. Now the battery drain issue occurred when I was in my native country of the Dominican Republic and I purchased a watch in the US and it was still under a year and it was already crapping out. So I was having about 20% battery drain per hour more or less and this watch is rated to go 5 days with its battery life before you have to recharge it and I was getting about 5 hours. So I was definitely freaking out. After searching the forums, I found out that the battery drain issue was caused by water getting inside of the watch and corroding the barometer sensor, which led to a constant power draw. And it also explained why the watch felt warm. So it was shorting out, it was causing resistance. The watch was constantly drawing power from the battery. That is what led to the battery drain. So eventually I decided to just open up the watch instead of waiting to get back to the US and the way you open the watch is by constantly blasting it with heat from all sides and trying to wedge a razor blade or a thin knife if you can to open it up. Now a hair dryer is not as warm as a heat gun but I didn't have a heat gun so I had to just make do with what I had. Repeating the process for about 30 minutes got the results and I was able to open the watch. Just be patient, it will eventually open if you use a razor blade and a hair dryer. You don't need a heat gun, it would have been a lot faster with a heat gun. You know, I still like the watch, the watch is amazing, but holy crap, I was freaking out because, you know, the watch was literally under a year and it was already crapping out. As far as how water got inside the watch, I have no idea. I have never dunked the watch, I have never gone out in the rain with the watch, even though the watch is rated for splash resistant, I think it's IP67, so you can basically dunk in water you know as long as it's shallow but I never did that so how did the water get in I have no idea so it turns out that there is a hole for the barometer sensor the barometer is what measures the altitude of the watch so this hole right here looks like a reset hole from all electronics and it turns out that it's not it got in through the barometer hole so on the side of the watch there is a hole with a thin membrane on the other side this thin membrane tends to give out some people have reported giving it out, but for me, in my case, it looks like I accidentally poked a hole through it when I was trying to reset the watch when I first got it. Uh, so it's kind of an embarrassing mistake. And that's why the water got in. I take full responsibility and it wouldn't have been covered under warranty if I had sent it. So thank God that I decided to do this myself rather than paying for the shipping. All you have to do is just unplug the barometer. I used a plastic fork. I didn't have a spatula, but whatever. It got the job done. So it turns out that the barometer was causing the issue. Once you remove it, the watch functions fine with no issues at all, except that it won't it will no longer give you a altitude reading whenever you do an activity. So if you go skiing, you know, say goodbye to that functionality. If you like to run hills and you like to see how much altitude you cover, you won't have that functionality. I searched all over the web for replacement barometer sensors, but I don't see anyone readily selling this particular piece. And now that Amazfit has released like 10 watches since I purchased this one, I don't think that they will be selling any spare parts in the near future for this watch. Once you decide to glue the watch back up, be very careful. I put, I place glue over the pinhole in order to be preventative. When sealing the watch, you have to be very careful. In this particular case, I just used standard glue, which gave out, but it worked for a, a couple of weeks. So I decided to redo the glue, but with industrial adhesive. Now the problem with that was that I may have added too much trying to seal the watch up. I wanted some moisture prevention, I guess. So I added too much. After I added too much, the watch would no longer charge. You see the pins on the back panel of the watch? Well, if you add too much glue, those pins will not make proper contact with the watch and they will not charge it. So I ended up having to open the watch up again, scraping all the glue around the watch and adding less adhesive and this resolved my issue. Anyways, I hope this was helpful to you. I still like this watch. I think it's one of the better amazed Amazfit watches. I really like the design. It goes in every situation, especially when you get it with a Milanese loop band. I still like the watch. Yeah, it sucks that I can no longer have altitude readings, but the watch was never great at, at tracking my snowboarding, so it doesn't really matter, to me at least.